Okay, I'm here talking with Kryptia, and uh, he's going to be giving a presentation at B-Sides called Attribution Smattribution Fix Your Stuff, basically. <laughs> and he I loves say, it when I edit him. Yeah, I say a little more uh, creatively there. But. So, uh, so you know, we just got out of, a, a, out of a talk. We heard a really clever line. Do you want to repeat it? Um, yeah, it was the keynote to the B-Sides, and it was a, an inference about having gone to these meetings, like defense-based meetings, where everybody's talking about getting hacked and who's hacking them over and over and over again, and yet they weren't really coming up with, well, you know, well, why or how or, you know, what are we going to do about it? It was kind of a, a cyber AA meeting, he said, which really yeah. kind of struck me, and I, I'm going to try to sneak that into my presentation, I think. but. My presentation is all about using intelligence gathering um, and looking at the, the attribution, not so much as pointing out who did it, but using that information to determine how they did it, why they did it, what's bad about your organization, and why it's happening to prevent it from happening in the future, uh, kind of a framework. So, you know, it's open source intelligence, it's technical intelligence, it's all of the above. And I have yet to really see it in place, even in defense-based companies. They have their SIM, they've got, you know, people doing anti-malware, reversal, stuff like that, but they're not putting it together and making reports for even the board or the C-level set to actually make them understand, and that's a problem. A lot of C-levels do not understand what we do. Well, I mean, isn't it just as simple as we see a Chinese IP address and uh, so therefore, yeah, it's, it's as simple as that sometimes. The finger pointing starts, and then we have the whole idea of, of hack back, and, you know, I, that's stupid. You know, <laughs> figure out why, what's happening to your environment, and why, and who's doing it, and then try to prevent that from happening in the future. Better your environment. Don't be so hooked up on, you know, China, China, China. And they go, so, so you've been very vocal about uh, uh, the hackbacks. That's that's become a really popular uh, subject. There's com companies that have started up here in the last two years where they basically will go out and uh, and attack the attackers yep. uh, on your behalf. And uh, what do you see? I mean, it's obvious to a lot of people what what the hangups with that are. But uh, can you uh, discuss a couple of them? Well, I think the biggest one is the legality of it. Um, are you hacking against nation state? If you're hacking against nation state. State, that's nation state business. You shouldn't be doing it as a corporate entity for anybody. Um, so that's one problem. There's all kinds of legalities. The other problem is attribution, which is really a problem. You know, you could say the IP came out of Hong Kong, but not necessarily is it China behind it. It may be. There's a lot more intelligence that has to happen. Oftentimes in defense space, you'll get a call from somebody like NCIS who'll say, hey, we have this stuff, it came from here, we know that the Chinese have it. That's a good way to say, all right, you know, it was found in their hands. But if it's just you're a company and you get hit, you know, by China, you get hacked by some piece of malware and it's, you know, doing a CNC to China, uh, China IP, Hong Kong IP, it doesn't necessarily mean that China did it. It doesn't necessarily mean a nation state did it. It could be some Russian crimeware boss. It could be somebody who's, you know, doing industrial espionage on you. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it, and a lot of people aren't really taking that into account. So it's kind of, um, in the intelligence business, you have to trust but verify, which is another thing that they said in the keynote. Uh, and it's really key. You have to look at all of the picture to understand it and then kind of emote that to your superiors to know what to do. Well, it's a natural, uh, you know, human reaction to want to, uh, you know, strike back when, when stricken. Right. Uh, so, you know, what, what's a more intelligent way to approach uh, network security when you're a prime target and you're a, you're a target often? Well, first of all, you have to have the defense in depth. You have to know your environment. You have to be able to protect your environment. There's a lot of technical around that. There's you know patching, process, all the, the normal stuff that goes into defense. Then there's the more arcane things that you can do. You know, in my presentation, I even talking about human intelligence. Start talking to people. Look at Brian Krebs. Krebs is out there on those Russian blogs and Russian boards and the secret boards. He knows when shit's going down. Oops, I said a bad word. That's right. Um, before it goes down because he's there and he's monitoring. More companies need to pay more attention to that kind of thing and they're not. The only one that I really heard about because they got hacked was uh, Bank of America last year. And what came out from that hack, which wasn't really even a hack, the, uh, the company hired a bunch of um, people from the outside, consultants, 
to do intelligence gathering, threat intelligence. And what they were doing is just sort of collecting stuff off of the internet and writing very general reports. And it really didn't, you know, have a technical aspect to it. It was just OSINT in a way. But they were so bad that they left it in an unprotected server out to the web. You know, so Anonymous just grabbed the stuff and published it. So, you know, unless you really look at the bigger picture and you're doing your due diligence, how can you protect your environment? It's, it's adversarial and it's defense. You have to understand it. Hacking back-wise, it's just a bad idea. I mean, what if you get the wrong guys? Or, you know, what if you get your stuff back? It's probably already been copied and sent somewhere else. So what's the point? It's just, like you said, it's an emotional reaction. It makes them feel better. Excellent. Thanks for taking the time to talk with us, Kriptia. Looking forward to your uh, talk tomorrow, and uh, have a great time out here in Vegas. Thanks.